Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. A uh, kind of stressful day today, kind of had a family emergency this morning still going on. I'll keep you updated, uh, but hopefully everything will be okay and fine. Right now things are looking up, so that's good. And also, I don't even remember if I told you, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps, but if so, do that. Let's get right to it, because today was a big day on Dermot Hospital. Let's start with Dante and Lulu. So it turns out Dante's the one in the shower, not Valerie. Good, because <laughs> that's the last thing we needed. And he spills, oh, so Dante yells at her about her affair, and I'm like, you need to let her talk. And he spills that Valerie told him about Dylan and Lulu holding each other in the, the hallway. So, again, great. Uh, he admits that he watched her go to the quarter mains, and then he tells her he went to Vancouver. And then he ends their marriage without even letting her speak and is about to kick her out uh, and saying she can stay at Carly's when she finally gets a word in. Tells him everything that happened, that it was all about no cops. It wasn't that she couldn't trust him. It was that, you know, he was a cop. And the reality is finally sinking in for him. So he's angry that she valued being a Spencer before him and Rocco, and she tells him it was wasn't like that it was that Lucky's life was at stake and everything it was all too hot like it was all too high stakes like she couldn't take any chances and he feels that he should have she should have trusted him even though he's a cop so she brings up how um, he should have known how much she loved him and that she couldn't be unfaithful to him like how could he believe that so then she says that they can come back from this and he can trust her like she trusts him and he goes except you can't and like he's he's kind he's angry but then he's also devastated on the other side of this so she tells him how much it killed her to keep the secret from him she apologizes profusely and begs for forgiveness like and she like totally admits she's in the wrong like she does everything right she doesn't try to make excuses she explained it and now she's profusely apologizing so then he says um no Lulu it's me that needs forgiveness so I'm like oh at least he's not going to try to make any excuses for what he did and fess up to it so I mean that would be the most upstanding thing that's happened on German Hospital in a while so we'll see what happens with that I am worried for my Lante can they come back from this can they come back from this the at the quarter mains Dylan arrives home Sabrina tells Dylan about Tracy going to talk to Brooklyn Dylan fills Sabrina in on everything that happened with Luke and Laura and Lucky and Ethan so then Sabrina tells Dylan that uh, her and Tracy became friends and then Dylan heads off to the airport to try to catch Tracy before she goes on a plane meanwhile at the at the airport is about to spoil who's about to come on to the scene. Let me just keep talking. Uh, Paul Hornsby is back. Hello, uh, Dylan's father, for those of you who don't know. There's no love lost between him and Tracy as they talk at the airport. And he says he's there for Dylan. Tracy's like not having it. So then Tracy plays the voicemail that Dylan left her on speaker and they both listen to it and it's about how Dylan needs to talk to her. He's at the house. So then Tracy and Paul Hornsby are go back to the quarter main house and Dylan's at the airport. So great. It's just like Maxie and Nathan uh, back in the beginning of the year. At the hospital, Hayden's vitals are picking up. Yay! She can still be the unsung hero of German Hospital. And Elizabeth panics to Nicholas about it. Elizabeth has to admit that she was grateful when Hayden went into the coma. Because doesn't that make you such a nice, caring person when you have to be grateful that someone's in a coma? So then Elizabeth tries to get some information from Patrick that hopefully soon Hayden will wake up. And then um, she tells Nicholas about the updates and how Hayden could potentially wake up. And, that, and Nicholas is like, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it. And I'm like, Elizabeth, how exactly do you think he's going to take care of it? Like, do you think he's just going to pay her off? Like, what do you really think he's going to do? Also at the hospital, Alexis and TJ talk about Molly going to college. And Alexis also warns TJ about Sonny and how he makes crime look gen glamorous while... Um, urging you away from it, warning warning you away from it, and how it's very easy, easy to get sucked into his lifestyle, so just be wary of that. At Windermere, I guess Valerie, oh yeah, Valerie arrives at Windermere, and Sam and Jake are there. So Sam and Jake are already in the safe, so easy, and they look through the stuff, and they talk about this necklace that they found, and it opens up a cute little conversation between Sam and Jake about what he knows about her and stuff like that, and that she likes to ride motorcycles and this and that, and it's actually kind of cute. 
and they find Hayden Barnes's driver's license and they wonder how Nicholas plays into this whole Hayden Barnes thing. So then they clean up the stuff and Valerie walks in on them. Well, they clean up the stuff because they hear Valerie talking outside. So good cover. Sam tells Valerie she brought Jake over to talk to Nicholas about the ELQ thing and if there was a potential for a negotiation. So then they bring up the subject of Hayden Barnes and Valerie tells them that Hayden was staying at Windermere before and after the nurse's ball and Valerie tells them that allegedly Nicholas had a fling with her in Europe and knew her before and da 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 and it's like mm hmm so they weren't expecting to uncover this but now it gives them some place to go from and it's actually the right track to figure out who Jason is yes so uh yeah a really good day out general hospital I'm excited for tomorrow to see if Dante will fess up to Lulu or if he won't, he'll try to work on his marriage because the reason he was in so much pain was because he loves his wife so much and he thought his wife was cheating on him, but now that she wasn't, like he, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I'll let you go now. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, we just broke $1,700 on an Indiegogo campaign. So, if you haven't already, please check it out. And if you can't donate, please at least share it so that all your friends and family can see it. And I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. Have a great day. Bye.